Hi, this is Roland. Welcome. Christ said that we should be in the world, but not of the world. He said in the Gospel of John, he said, they are not of this world, even as I am not of this world. So how can you be in the world, but not of the world? Well, this is very important. And, I'll t and I will try to describe to you very quickly to get you started so you, so you can see. And uh, maybe the best way I can put it is to say that there are two ways of experiencing everything. There's a way of, exp this is the right way of experiencing where you, you go through experience, but the experience doesn't go through you. You go through the experience, but the experience doesn't go through you. It doesn't penetrate you. It doesn't traumatize you. And then there's the other way of experiencing things, which is the way most of us know. It's the fallen way. It's the way of trauma. It's being traumatized by things. Traumatized, shocked, emotionalized, penetrated, imprinted, corrupted. See? So what you have to see is that the way you are now, where you are reactive to things, upset by things, where you've been corrupted by cultural practices, by food, by drugs, by experience, by music, by entertainment, by people. You've been corrupt. You've been corrupted. You've been changed. You're a creature of trauma. And that's because you have only known the, the fallen way of experience things where you where experience gets into you. But what you need to know is that there's another way, a better way, a higher way of experiencing things where you go through the experience, but the experience doesn't go through you. I'll just give you a couple of examples. Because you may have experienced moments of this in your life. You may have experienced moments of it, but you didn't know what it was. It's actually a, a blessed way, a protected way. Um, for example, have you ever had the experience where there was great danger, there was danger, and you 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 felt like you were watching a movie, as if it were happening to someone else. You were just standing, you had a distant feeling, and you were watching, and the moment passed, and you were safe. It could have been a fleeting moment, like. Um, an accident of some sort, an almost accident. Have you had that experience where there was an almost accident? And it's like you're watching it in a movie. Some people say like slow motion, but you're distant to it. And the moment passes and you're safe. Or there may have been some danger, some terrible person or something happening, and all of a sudden you weren't a part of it. You were watching and was it like it wasn't even happening to you? A distant feeling. Well, that's the protected. That that's that's an example of or, or an extension of the protected state. Okay. Uh, I'll give you another example. I heard this. This is secondhand, but I'm sure that it's true. Um, um, a, a Mr. Schwarzkopf. Do you remember General Schwarzkopf from many years ago? He uh, he was asked if he's ever been in danger, and he said, "Of his life, of his life, is, if his life has ever been in danger." And he said, "Yes, I have." And I said, "Well, what what do you do?" He said, "Well, I don't know how to explain it, but I I pull into my I withdraw into myself. I pull into myself, and the danger passes, and I'm safe." Okay, do you do you understand that? Okay. Well. That's something, that's the protected state. Now, it doesn't have to be so dramatic, but I'm using the dramatic ones because you've probably experienced something like that sometime in your life. You were actually being protected. See, God actually gives us, gives us that at certain times so that we won't become 
involved in the situation so we won't be traumatized by it, damaged by it, penetrated by it. And then you're safe.